everyone, welcome to OC Donut Steel. We just saw Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, we did. The movie. Now we're back drawing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I drew this earlier before we went to see the movie. Now it's sped up. This is two times the speed. Uh, but what do you think of the movie? Should we spoil it? I have conflicting opinion on whether we should... Well, I'm just going to announce there will be spoilers. So if you haven't seen Far From Home, maybe hold off on watching this video because we're going to talk about some of the things that happen. So now you've been warned. You've been warned. So if you do not want spoilers, go ahead and like this video, <laughs> subscribe, add it to your saved videos so that you can watch it later. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good too. That's good advice. Smash that like. What did you think of Spider-Man Far From Home though? Okay, so I liked it a lot for, um, for the character because of the story that we've been watching with this character. Um, I know you didn't think the same way I did. You said that he's not an amazing Spider-Man. Oh, I was being glib. It's all right. It's like okay. a, to me, it's, it's good. It's not bad, but I know they're capable of more. I just demand well, more. So here's my opinion on Spider-Man. He goes from this kid that's been relying on Tony Stark for so long, and now he's having to deal with being like the last Avenger available in times of need, and uh, he doesn't have Tony Stark to lean on, and he's dealing with being a superhero in a post-Avengers world. Mm -hmm. Well, know? there's one other new hero. No, there's not. Oh, uh, spoiler! <laughs> But also, like, everybody is really afraid because they lived through the snap, mm -hmm. you know, so they're... Mm -hmm. They call it the blip. Yeah, the blip. So there's a five-year gap, and some people, you know, they got snapped, they got dusted, they got blipped, and then they come back five years later the same age. And they do a funny thing in this movie with it where, yeah. well, Betty Brandt is on the student news, and she's saying, we... We got dusted in the middle of the school year, so when we came back five years later, they made us start the school year over again. And that's kind of funny. Yeah. That might be the funniest thing in the movie. But, what I, no, it wasn't. What I thought was even funnier than that is that they showed all of the students at a pep rally and, like, all the marching band was on the court, and then they got dusted. And then five years later, they're watching a basketball game, and all of a sudden they all appear on the court and, like, start tripping up players. And uh, then there was uh, Aunt, Aunt May was talking about how uh, her apartment went to a family after she blipped. Uh -huh. And so when she blipped in, the wife thought that she was uh, a home wrecker. The grandmother thought she was a ghost. So, I mean, it was just funny how they explained how that process of blipping worked. But Peter Parker and all his friends blipped. Except they had one. They knew one guy who was there and like got five years older. Yeah, and, and became like a cool guy. He's still in high school with them. I thought he was like they go on a European vacation, right? So I thought this guy was like a chaperone. No. But you're like he's just hanging. He's just in high school. He was still. in the class still. Yeah. But he also wants MJ, so we got a love triangle. Yeah. Between. He's too old for her. Yeah, but you know, I mean. Any, anyway, spoiler alert, MJ and Peter get together again. That's right. usually what happens. Mm -hmm. You've seen one Spider-Man movie, you've seen them all. Yeah, although their kiss was not as good as the kiss mm -hmm. in the first Spider-Man. Oh, the upside down in the rain alleyway kiss? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah. Which, let's tie it back into the art below. Mm -hmm. So that's not quite what's going on here. I think this illustration, this is funny because this is a Spider-Man pencil drawing that I started in 2013. Mm -hmm. And it's 2019, so it's just been sitting in a pile for six years and I finally colored and inked it this morning. Mm -hmm. To me, this is almost like, at this point, how not to draw Spider-Man. Like, six years later, did your drawing blip? <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, my drawing blipped and I, I don't think it's that great. So like, maybe I'm throwing it up here in part to like inspire any, well, any artists out there that are watching this, just keep going. You get better. I haven't really shown any proof of that. That I get better. <laughs> no, but, you have. Uh, this is an older drawing, and it's based off of much better drawing by, I think, Steve Rude. Steve the Dude Rude. Uh, and this is Spider-Man almost doing an upside-down kiss. But I think you see, in the bottom left you see boop, boop, uh, camera. So he's like posing for a spider picture with uh, Gwen Stacy. Ah, uh, okay. But it's so old. It's an actual camera. 
Whereas in, you know, Spider-Man Far From Home, everyone's rocking a Sony Xperia. Yeah. Which I think is funny, but it's like in real life, nobody. Nobody walks around with a Sony phone. But in Sony movies, everybody has a Sony phone. <laughs> and that always cracks me up. Right. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Well, yeah, they don't want to admit that everybody likes iPhone better. I did make a comment before we went to the movie. Oh, I put it down somewhere. But I had like a Spider-Man comic with Gwen Stacy on oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's right over there. Oh, it's okay. So, but I was saying, like, wouldn't it be cool if Gwen Stacy shows up in this movie? Yeah, no, that wouldn't happen. That didn't. Spoiler alert, she doesn't show up. Or though, she might be that girl that was like, take off your pants. Oh, yeah, that could be, yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's a tall blonde woman who asks Peter Parker to take off his pants. And then the, the, the guy who didn't blip, who's now older, walks and he's like, I thought it was the bathroom. And he takes a photo and he's like, I gotta show this to MJ because we're competing for a bro. Yeah, guess what, dude? You know I, how it I'm is. I'm too old for, like... <laughs> She's still classic MJ. Yeah, we're gonna make this. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make it work. Mm -hmm. um, another thing about this picture that I drew here is Gwen Stacy was the perfect girl. So the guy who was writing Spider-Man in the '70s that killed her, who we met in Vegas, right? You remember him? Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it Jerry or Gary? Because I feel like an idiot, but it's G E R R Y. So it's Jerry or Gary Conway. Probably Terry, if it's G-E-R-R-Y. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry. But he's a great guy, but he was like, he, I'm not gonna use the language he did, mm -hmm. but actually you can look up an interview about killing Gwen Stacy. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I think it's like a public interview and I asked him about this quote. Basically she had to die. Yeah. Well, she was too perfect. So there's no No, he compliment. was mad at Stan, don't you remember? Well, okay. Well, you, you, yeah, you say, what was the thing? What was the connection Gwen Stacy had to Stan? It was his wife. Right. Well. Yeah, Stan Lee based the character of Gwen Stacy on his perfect wife. Yeah. Who was essentially a supermodel. Mm -hmm. um, although, what's funny is that ended up being Mary Jane's job in the comics. Well, spoiler alert. <laughs> if is you it? haven't read the comics. <laughs> okay. But uh, she's so perfect that there's no conflict there, so Jerry's like, we gotta kill her. So that's why they do the famous uh, scene on the bridge where the Green Goblin throws her off. Spider Man. Tries to rescue her with the web line, uh -huh. but snaps her neck. Yeah. Catches her, but snaps her neck on the fall down. Yeah. Uh, kind of sad. But she's not even in this movie. Nope. Again. Yeah. But you know who is in this movie? This was also, for me, a fun bit. At the end, you know who shows up? Yeah. Spoiler. Fireworks. J. Jonah Jameson. Uh-huh. Played by... The, the same, same guy. Yeah, the same guy. I forget his name. I'm blanking on his name. I forget, too. Uh... But he was in he was in the first three Spider-Man movies and he came back for this one. But if you like him before, you'll like him again. Mm -hmm. He's no longer a newspaper publisher because that's old news. Now he's got like a Daily Bugle website and radio show and podcast, I guess. Yeah. Uh, anything else you liked about the movie? Um, yeah, like I really liked seeing all those places in Europe that they were going to on their vacation. Have you been to London? Um, I have been to London. Have you been to Venice? No, I have not. Have you been to Prague? No. Have you almost been to Paris and then you got canceled and you had to go somewhere else? No, because my husband won't take me. Oh, I'll be happy to now. Yeah, this movie okay. convinced me. Okay, good. It's time for a summer trip. Good. Uh, it's funny, the last time I was in England, the only time I was in England, mm -hmm. was also, I think, the same year I originally penciled this drawing, 2013. So, coincidence, yeah, let's whatever see that means. Again. That go, way you can add a England. background. <laughs> Well, this is, the setting here is a bar. You can see the bottles behind it and pencil a little bit, maybe. Uh -huh. It's a little faded. But for whatever reason, you know, in this comic page, I was drawing, like, Spider-Man's in a bar. Okay. It's He's not, a little young for that. Well, maybe I was just clairvoyant because in this movie, he's got a scene in the bar with Mysterio. He's drinking lemonade. Yeah. I might add that as the dialogue in here, like, can I get a lemonade? <laughs> How about that? That's good. All right, any final thoughts? We're coming up on last bit of um, this video. I won't finish this drawing. Spoiler alert for that, too. It's just going to... This is how much you can get done in about half an hour. Okay. That's what I drew. Well, I would say I recommend going to see the movie, um, especially if you're a Spider-Man fan or if you want to continue on in this Marvel Universe. Um, they bring in a... Uh, what you were trying to say is that there's another hero. Well, there's not. Um, they brought the in... Night Monkey. A great villain. Oh yeah, um, Mysterio. Who, yeah, who really screws things up for Peter Parker. And so if you want to see how, 
go see this movie. All right, and thanks for joining us today. We'll be back again with more drawing in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe like right and subscribe. down below. All right, see you.